Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. First of all, Happy New Year and I hope that 2019 would be an awesome year for us. In this video, I want to show some film photos I took last year when I visited Montreal, Quebec here in Canada. Um, it was the first time I traveled with film and it was very interesting having to ask airport security to hand check my stuff. Um, everything went smoothly though, so I'm pretty happy with that. I decided to bring my Minolta X700 which had some semi-automatic functions such as shutter and aperture priority. I paired it with my Minolta MD Rokor 50mm 1.4 lens. I just find that I prefer the 50mm focal length than the wider 35mm. And that aperture, the 1.4 aperture is also really great for low light situations and for getting out of focus backgrounds. Here you see me loading my camera with Kodak Gold 200 but I also brought with me some rolls of Fuji Superior 400 and Lomography Color Negative 400. So here are some photos I took and hopefully you'll like them. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this sort of slideshow video. Um, before I end though, I would just like to comment about my experience with using the uh, Minolta X700. Basically, I like shooting with this camera. I was mostly shooting in aperture priority, which I like because it kind of freed me from having to think about the different exposure technicalities. Um, so I basically just chose um, the aperture depending on how isolated I want my subject to be. So if I'm taking some something like a portrait, then I would probably, you know, open it wide to like 1.4 or 2. And if I'm taking a street scene, then I'm probably just going to be an F8. Um, so yeah, I just let the uh, camera do the calculating for the different exposures. And so I didn't have to think about that at all. Sometimes I will uh, use these kind of like exposure compensation dial on top here. So I can just like, you know, put maybe plus one or plus two depending on the scene. Like maybe if a subject is backlit, then I would have to do that. Sadly, this camera that I own now has some issues with the shutter. Sometimes if I advance the film, the shutter won't properly cock. So I wouldn't be able to take a photo at all. Um, unless, until I press this button at the bottom and then I'd be able to take a photo. Um, which is probably not that much big of a deal, but sometimes when you're in the street and there's a scene, you kind of want a more reliable camera where you can just like, you know, cock the shutter, take that photo, and go. Because sometimes, you know, like if you have to do all of these things before you can take a photo, the, the scene might have gone and yeah, you just missed the shot. As for the Lomography Color Negative 400 film, it is kind of my current go-to film just for everyday use. Um, because it's currently cheaper to get a hold of it than Fuji's Superior 400 or Kodak Ultramax 400, at least here in Calgary where I live. 
um, it's fairly easy to get online you know and you get it you get it in packs of three and it's way cheaper I think um, anyways um, I like to overexpose it by one stop or two stops and I find that I would get uh, more vibrant colors um, especially during daylight and those colors like they're vibrant but they're not like overly saturated or offensive and I also really like how it renders the blues towards the teals um, rather than purples um, I just prefer it that way I guess um, so I really like how skies look in this film stock um, so yeah um, thank you very much again for watching this video I hope you liked it and if you haven't subscribed, please do, and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Cheers!